yun ang uh, doon na sumunod yung ating uh, ginagawa sa communion. But actually, Jesus Christ also celebrated the same way that we will celebrate today. Amen. Kaya yeah, lang, after, after, after celebrate, after uh, uh, having the meal, sa kanyang kinuha yung tinapay at saka yung cup. At ipinakita niya yung, yung kanya, yung uh, tinapay na simbolo lang kanyang katawan at yung co-power of the drink, the juice. So, the during the time wine, Amen. ay simbolo lang kanyang go. So, we will celebrate in a way na para magkaroon tayo ng awareness. Amen? Awareness na uh, kung paano siya celebrate kung paano ba nangyari, ano ba nangyari talaga siya. Amen? Para sa ganun ay magbigyan na, bibigyan natin ng tamang importansya yung Passover at saka yung communion. Amen? yung communion na sinisilibrate natin. Uh, in our case, every Sunday. every service, we do that communion. Yeah. Because it's said in the Bible that as often as we come together, we will have to remember what Jesus has done. Amen. Amen. Okay, so, praise the Lord. Uh, Passover is actually for everyone. And we are all created for that purpose. We were created for that purpose. Yung la tayo ay may purpose sa Diyos sa atin. Hindi lang po tayo lumitaw, lumisa, na walang parang kabuti ba na parang lumitaw na lang siya. We were created purposely. Sabi doon sa Psalms 139 that God actually okay sabi we were formed with fear and trembling we were made so pinag-isipan tayo talaga pinag-isipan tayo ng mabuti ng Diyos Amen at ang kalaban ay hiniwalay tayo dahil sa kasalanan Amen Amen we were uh We were actually separated, and sin separated us from the purpose. Amen. So, ang ang celebration nito is what God has done to bring us back to that purpose. That's why, if you remain in sin, you are separated from the purpose. You are not fulfilling the purpose of God. Amen. But then, when you begin to follow Jesus, when you receive Him in your heart, Amen, and begin to follow Him. Then it means that you are back in the purpose of God. Amen. Amen. And uh, yung uh, ating pong gagawin ngayon is a reminder of how it's done. Amen. Uh, praise the Lord. So we have here the elements. Actually, we don't have it. Can you display your... Uh, Yeah, it's the shank, lamb, yeah, the shank bone. Okay, at lagi yan dyan yan, walang gagawin doon, pero dahil sa buto na yan, because Jesus is the lamb of God, at yun ay lamb, shank, bone. And this celebration is centered, it's centered on the lamb. Amen on the land, and it's called the Zeroa, Zeroa, and it is mysterious. And we have the bread. So you know, alam niyo yung bread, ang leben na tinatawa is is made up of wheat and a flour and water lang, wala na yung mixture. Okay. It's called matzah. Yeah, matzah. Yeah, unleavened bread. Symbol of uh, the symbol that is uh, the, the Israelites brought out matzah. Yeah, amen. Yung po yung dalawa nila. 
we feel like no bus safety. Amen. Amen. And uh, it is the bread of redemption. Amen. The matzah. And then we have the juice. You have one cup there. For each one. At uh, gagawin po natin dito. So, uh, apat na beses natin iinumin yan. So, uh, wag niyong lala. Sakal. <laughs> so, uh, uh, yung first sip, punti lang. Pangalawa. Pangalawa na yung pangapat, we can take it all. Right? And then we have the Tarpa, I, we have the tarpas, ito yun. Tarpas. Ay. Parsley, leaf, green. Ibig sabihin, uh, new beginning, life, symbol of life. And we have the maror, yung white na pa niya. It's uh, actually, hindi na natin ginawa yung horse radis kasi masyado. Yeah. <laughs> Amen? So, this one, ito yung radish na lang siya. Pero bitter herbs daw doon. Anong, anong simbol? Anong nagsimbolize ng bitter? It symbolizes the bitterness of life apart from God. Yeah. Pag yeah. ikaw ay wala sa Diyos, mapahit ang buhay ng tao wala sa Diyos. Kahit nakatira sa sa mansyon o wala sa Diyos, Amen. mapahit pa ng palasa. Yes. Amen. Amen. And mayroon din dito ng Karoset, sabi niya. Karoset. It's a mixture of sweet fruit and nuts, grounded nuts and cinnamon. Ano nag-represent nito? The Israelites were in bondage. Pag sinabing bondage, this represents the mortar. Alam niyo yung sila yung nag- Kumagawa ng mga structures sa Egypt. Kasi mm-hmm. slave sila. Yeah. So, yung carousel represents slavery. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. say it's Amen? That's why we are, they are uh, always, every, uh, every time that they celebrate Passover, they are always reminded of the past so that they will not forget where they came from. Amen. Para hindi sila, hindi na makalimutan na saan sila galing at papaano sila nakalabas. Amen. So this one, when they celebrate, partake of this food, they are reminded of how they were slain and worked hard for nothing. Kasi hindi na sila pinabayaran. Amen. They were just given food. And of course, the egg represents uh, birth. New beginning. Amen? Ang, ang, ang egg. And we have the salty water. Uh, yung salty water represents actually spring of life. Okay? Pero yung may, mayroong lasa, spring of life. Now may edit-dip natin to sa spring water at uh, symbolizes yung also the blood of Jesus being pinahin sa doorpost. Doorpost. Door Amen. Doorpost. And blood. Okay, so uh, the salty water also represents the tears of the Israelites in Egypt and the tears of sin that the Lord turn into tears of joy. Amen. 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 So, uh, yung egg is called pizza. Pizza. So, B-E-I-T-Z-A-H. Pizza. It's also actually a symbol of mourning and a beginning. Amen. So, na- napakalaga na uh, maintindihan natin ito para pag kinagawa natin ito, we know it. We know it. Amen. We just not following it. So, we all know that since the destruction of the temple on, on 70 AD, when the Roman Empire 
destroy the temple. They were not able to do the sacrifice for it. Amen. And uh, they were scattered after that. So wherever they are, they celebrate this, looking forward to celebrate it in Jerusalem. Amen. Amen. So makikita natin kung mamaya. So for us, it represents a new birth. Yeah. Israel is a sense of, uh, in a sense, is born again. Also with us, the rebirth of a person who receives Messiah, the Lord Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Okay, so uh, gagawin po natin ngayon, ipibless natin yung uh, I-replace natin yung uh, the, fruit, uh, the fruit of the vine. This is the As we celebrate it, ito yung sinasabi ng uh, mga Israelite. Blessed are you Lord God, King of the Universe. Creator of the fruit of the vine, creator of the fruit of the earth, and now remembering all there is in our life. Amen. So, siya sabi uh, uh, among the, the mga elements, ito yung medyo blessing. Amen. And now, uh, we go to the, the bread. Amen. The bread. Let's uh, go. To, let's get the bread. So, kaya tatlo yan, it represents Trinity. Okay. And so, what we do now is actually break the middle one. The middle one. Break it. In half. Half lang. Okay. And then... Ay, hindi pwede. Wrap it. Okay, I might think you may know how to do that. Wrap it and keep it. Kaya pala may tissue. Nakatlo. So one part is taken and the uh, and the body is wrapped in four. Ah, uh, one part? Okay. So put it on here. At alam uh, natin na uh, Tatago natin yan because mamaya ang ipaparting natin. Amen. Exactly. So we are celebrating now the past. So when we partake of the bread, the, the, yung tinago, it is the present. Ito yung sinasabi ni Lord na yung uh, bread of life. Okay. Okay, so praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. So let us uh, now Gagawin po natin is itaas po natin yung tinapay. Yung, yung naiwan. Yung naiwan. Okay. Although hindi pa natin natin, mamaya pa natin yan because I want to uh, share something. We all know that uh, to do that is actually uh, kakainin, uh, ilalagay yung itong ano, yung, 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 yung to suffer. Amen? Okay. And also, uh, we all know na uh, nung panahon na yon, yung mga Israelites, they were always in tears. Right? And they were always, yung mapayot lagi ang buhay nila. They were all, they, uh, while they were working, they were beaten. They were given a deadline, they were given a quota on how many bricks to, to build. So, if this is remembering, they break their back to live. Yeah. This is the misery that the Lord has uh, redeemed them during the Passover. Alam natin na Passover, nangyari on their way Passover, right? And hallelujah. So now, let us partake. Ganyan natin. Bagian lagi nak kopi. 
Kadish, okay? Hmm. So blessed are you, Lord God, King of the universe, who commands us to partake of the bitter herbs. You may partake now. Hmm? Okay, right Hallelujah. Now we go to the first cup. First drink. First cup. We will take only a kotila, huh? Blessed are you, O Lord, God, King of the universe, who created the fruit of the vine. So let's see. Amen. Then we go uh, get the other matzah. Amen. Oh, sorry. We have, we have, we've done that. We are going to the second cup. The second cup is this uh, blood of judgment, the, the cup of judgment. The cup of judgment is, you know, uh, alam natin na ang lahat ng prutas ng kasalanan ay dapat may Pababayaran. Amen. So may judgment. Lahat ng ginagawa na yun, uh, lahat ng masama, may, may wrong judgment. Hindi ka makakawala hanggang walang judgment. That's why si Lord, He came to be judged for us. Amen. And He died on the cross. So that makapangupisa tayo or else we will be bound by the old, the old thing that we have nakakling sa atin lagi. Kailangan magkaroon ng severan sa atin. And it is by the blood. Amen? And they always remember the, the ten plagues. Right? The ten plagues that came because of uh, the heart, uh, the hardness of the heart of the pero. And sa tigas ng puso, ayaw Palisin yung mga Israelites. Amen. We all know that uh, ang historia ng, ng, ng uh, panahon na yun, kung bakit uh, nagkaganon. We all know that there was a man. You know, the time when the Israelites were growing big and maraming pinapangalak na lalaki, natakot yung yung uh, uh, government ng Egypt. So they said, tinuruan, tutusan yung mga midwives. Okay? That pagkalalaking malakas, patayin. Huwag palabas or huwag panatiling buhay. And so when Moses was born, the mother, because thinking na papatayin siya, sikreto ng anak siya, at uh, uh, nilagay sa basket at pinapon sa river pero pinapantayan sa kanyang kapatid. Amen? We all know that the, the daughter of the Pharaoh took Moses and raised him as, his, as her own. Amen? So Moses grew up to 40 years old as a prince of Egypt. Naging prince siya. Mayroon siyang malakas ma Nakapag-aral siya ng mabuti, trained siya sa work, lahat. But then when he learned that he is a Hebrew, and he defended the Hebrew being maltreated by a, a soldier, right? And he killed the soldier. Pinatay niya, 
Kaya ngayon, nagtago siya, naghihinahanap siya. At ano nangyari? For 40 years, he lived in the wilderness as a shepherd. Yeah. He had family. Ang mayroon siyang family. Yeah. But then, one day, he saw this burning bush. Amen. Right? Mayroon siya, nakita niya yung burning bush. And he was drawn closer na nagkaroon siya ng curiosity. And then when he was about uh, the presence of the tree, God spoke to him, Moses, take off your sandal, for the ground you are in is a holy. Amen. And then he was, he was instructed to go back to Egypt, <laughs> amen, and to actually lead the people of Israel out of slavery. And we all the story, right? Yeah. The, 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 Pharaoh does not listen to him. And so, the ten plagues. Amen. We all know that the ten plagues happened, but then the Israelites were spared. Hindi sabihin hindi sila naapektuhan ng, mga, ng famine, ng plague na duwating. At alam natin na uh, ito yung mga, ano, so ang gagawin natin to remember din, ito yung ginagawa nila. Actually, para din sa atin to, kasi it is a symbol na sa ating buhay, kung wala tayo kay Kristo, Amen, maraming plagues na dumarating amen. at hindi tayo, hindi tayo na spare. Yeah. Pero if you are in Jesus and trust in Him, then you will be protected from amen. all these plagues. Amen. So this is also a reminder for us. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. So we go to the sec uh, this second cup again, ito yung pangal pangalawa. Okay. Itip natin yung pinky. Yeah, puti lang. So every dip, okay, ilagay natin, ilagay natin dito sa pan, mark, dito sa plate. And it is the plate of the blood. This one was when the, the Nile River turned into blood. Literally blood. Okay? Yung buong river, it turned into blood. It's not a bumangsha, it's stuck. For days, weeks, umiyak yung mga tao dahil namatay lahat, ano? Nalao yung uh, life sa river. Ay, Malaking bagay po yung rivers kanila. It's the means of transportation, the means of the livelihood, and everything, right? And then came the second deep again, and then place it there. It's the famine of the fry, the plague of the frog. Alaka. Nung dumating yung plague na yan, saan man sila noon, sa loob ng closet nila, sa lahat, sa loob ng bahay, hindi nila may sweat talaga ng poro palaka. Amen. And then the third one, the one, third one, is mice. Yung daga. Amen. Fourth one, the flies. Mga langaw. Okay, the fifth one, the plague of plagues. Ito po yung pestilence sa mga animals. The plague of plagues. Num number six, boils. Ano yung boil? Sa. Amen? Ilo ka ano, lakas. Busa. <laughs> Eight, ah, uh, seven. Hail. Alam po natin hail? Yeah. Umulan ng yeah. ice. Yeah. Imagine kung umulan ng ice na kasing laki ng mga mga natin ganun. Masisira ang mga bahay. Ma? I, I experienced this when we were in Saudi Arabia. Number eight, deep again. And then we have here the low cost. I mean low cost? 
Ah. Ipaklong na tayo. For hope uh, is a variety of the suffer. But this, this one are different because they consume kinoconsume nila yung lahat ng vegetation. Grass, mga vegetables, mga dahon ng mga kahoy. So talagang there's death wherever they go. Amen? And then nine, darkness. Imagine na uh, for several days, walang araw, parang gabi lahat. Darkness. And finally, the tenth one is the death of the firstborn. Every firstborn, ito man ay kayo o tao. Okay? Kayo o tao. So, ano bang di, uh, yung, uh, ito yung part, kwento nung last play. Amen? Yung last play, Sabi do sabi ng pero sabi mo sa kanya na kung hindi siya magkikip in sabi ni pero sabi na ni Lord kay Moses ay may darating na play na kung saan lahat ng panganay na anak hayop man o tao ay mamamatay pero ito yung gawin ninyo sabi niya, on the first day of the first month ni San yung beginning yeah, okay you offer, you slaughter a lamb. Okay? And, uh, parang offering yun. Lamb. And then, roast it. And then, tingnan nyo kung maliit na yung familia, makihati sa iba. Kasi kailangan i-consume lahat eh. Amen? So yung lamb is, ibig sabihin na, uh, actually, hindi, uh, yeah, lamb, which is now without blemish, Okay, uh, wala, one year old lang. So, ang, ang nando is, you get the blood using the hisop. Hisop, parang ito yung parsley. They actually dip it and then they paint it on the doorpost. So, sabi doon, on the top and on the two side. Sites. Pag titignan po natin, titignan po natin itong uh, Passover na ito. Sabi ni Garo sa, sabi ng Manus. So, ilagay nyo sa doorpost kasi mamayang gabi eh. Itadaan ang, ang Angel of Death. So, every household na walang dugo, the angel will enter and kill the first one. But with the blood on the doorpost, the angel will pass over. Kaya nang i-pass over. Talampasan yung bahay. Kahit sino yun ang doon sa bahay. Amen. So, ano, pag, pag titignan niyo yung doorpost, pag pinagkabit-kabit mo, it's a triangle that points upward. Amen. It means that the help will be coming from above. Amen. Ano yung symbolism no? Is the mystery. Si Lord Jesus Christ, nung tumating siya, at nung siya pinakas sa cross, saan nagkaroon ng dugo yung cross? Both sides, saka down. If you draw the triangle, it's pointing down. It's God showing that God came down, reached out to mankind. While the first one is man reaching out to God. Amen? Na kompleto yung figure. Those are things that pag titignan natin parang baliwala. But it's really meaningful sa ating lahat. Yung cross picture. Alam nyo na yung cross? The cross is our doorway. Ano ibig sabihin? 
kailangan dumaan ka sa cross. Hindi mo lang titignan na naniwala ka. No? That's why when you receive Jesus, let's understand this, when you receive Jesus, you have gone through what Jesus has gone through. Kaya sabi po ni Paul sa, sa Galatians, I have been crucified with Christ. So once you believe, it becomes a reality in the spiritual realm that you were with Jesus when He was on the cross. Amen? Amen? So lahat ng misery ng old life was terminated. Yes. Lahat ng misery ng old life was terminated on the cross. So it says that the power of sin has done has been done with on the cross. Yung kapangyarihan ng kasalanan ay naputol na sa krus ng Kalbaryo. Amen. Amen. So wala nang uh, wala nang bagay that belongs to the old should, shall remain from those who believe. Amen. Because you have been emancipated from the old life from the power of bondage of sin. You are no longer in bondage. Amen? But now you have been uh, given a new life with Jesus. That's why when Jesus resurrected from the dead, you were also raised with him from the dead to a new life, Amen. a new beginning. Amen. Amen? Hallelujah. So, let's drink to that. Amen. Let's drink to that. Uh, blessed are you, Lord God, King of the universe, who created the fruit of the vine. So let us now remember that every plague as we have been prayed for, plague uh, free from. Amen. Amen. Let's partake. Amen. Symbolic po ito. Ibig sabihin, you are partaking what was already done and you are part of it you the freedom that jesus bought for you are part of it so i be survival whom the son whom the son set free is free indeed so ngayon you can declare that kung mayroon pa mga bagay na nakatali sa inyo nagtatali sa inyo ay pinakawalan na kayo may kapangyarihan na kayo na kumawala. Na? Amen? Before, wala tayong kapangyarihan. Lagi tayong balik na balik doon. But now, when you decide to do it out, you can. Because you have the power now. Because Jesus is inside of you. Amen! Amen. That's the difference. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So, sabi nga sa 1 Corinthians 5.7 For Christ, our Passover Lamb, has been crucified or uh, sacrificed. Therefore, let us celebrate the peace, okay, by actually proclaiming the reality of our salvation. Amen. Amen. But uh, we don't have it here. We have in the Old Testament, in the in the Old Testament, uh, uh, in the old in the Old Testament. Yung mga kwa, nag naghuhugas ng, ng kamay. Because water symbolizes cleansing. Passover symbolizes cleansing. Amen. So, uh, ang, gina ang, ang ginawa ni Lord at that time, nung Passover, o yung Last Supper, instead of washing the hands, He washed the feet. Actually, that was the first and the last time na ginawa ni Lord, pero ginawa niya ang halimbawa. Why? The, 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 ang practice is washing the hands. Okay? Before they eat, they wash the hands. Yeah. Pero ang ginawa ni Lord ay para ang hinugasan niya. Ibig sabihin, it's a symbol of Him humbling down. Amen. Nagpakumbaba siya para lang tayo ay mahugasan. Amen? Imagine the God of the universe stooping down and washing the feet of his disciples. Kaya si Peter sabi niya, Never Lord, hindi pwede. Di ba parang, kasi 
rabay siya eh, teacher nila eh. Tapos yun, bababa, ugas ang pa. Yung mentality ng pa, but then, ipinakita ni Lord, yung spiritual significance of humility. Unless he humbles himself, salvation will not be ready. When he went to the cross, it's humility. The humblest position that a man can be is dying on the cross without having any sin. Amen? Ibig sabihin, nakakahiya kung ikaw ay may kasalanan. Pero si Lord, nagpakumaba siya, pero hindi nakakahiya kasi wala siyang ginawang kasalanan. Kaya siya ay naging karapat dapat na mag-shed ang kanyang dugo para bayaran ang hukasan ng ating mga kasalanan. Amen. Amen. So yung ininom natin na pangalawa, that was it? Yeah, amen. Ano na yun? Uh, uh, remembering the past. Okay. So hindi natin ginawa na we do, we do wash the feet. <laughs> But remember that every celebration may own water. Yes. That we use to wash. Amen. Wash the hands. But then in the time the Lord Jesus Christ feet. Amen. Hallelujah. Now we get the other half. Yan yung tinakatago, yung half of bread. Ang tawag po dito, yung hidden bread is a fecomen. Hidden bread. And bisabihin, in Greek, it means he who comes. Actually, this is the this is the symbol of Jesus Christ coming as a man and offered himself. But then we know that sa ngayon ang mga Israelites nakatago lagi. Yes. Kasi sa kanila hindi pa dumating. Okay. But we celebrate it as the present. Amen. Ito na yung celebration ng communion ngayon, present. Amen. When the Lord Jesus Christ after, after meal, He stood up and broke bread. But broke bread, broke bread, and sabi niya, ito yung katawan ko. This is my body. Right? And then take it. Amen? So, ito po yung shayon. Ito na yung simple natin. Pero yung last time, it represents uh, who we were. Who we were. Uh, no, wala pang si Kristo. Amen. So, ito yung uh, uh, let's, let's bless. Blessed are you, O God, King of the universe, who brings forth the bread of the earth. Amen. So let's partake of all of it. Hallelujah. You know, during the time the Lord Jesus Christ, they were partaking, di kinakain pati itong karoset. Amen? This was the time when sabi ni Lord Jesus Christ sa, actually, it was in Luke. Wala yan. Remember si Lord, noong pinag-usapan, Lord, sabi sa niya kasi, one of you will betray me. Di ba? Pero sabi ni, uh, sabi ni Lord, uh, sa Matthew 26 pala, Matthew 6 verse 23. Let's go to that. Yeah. 
So, so surely I say to you, one of you will betray me, verse 21. And they were exceedingly sorrowful, and each, each of them began to say to him, Lord, is it I? Amen. And then he answered in verse 23, He who did this hand with me in the dish will betray me. And it so happened that see what I'm going on. There's the bread, at dilip niya sa nung tumakain sila. Kung saan tumakain si Lord, nakilip din ka doon. Sila ba yan si Lord? So bago nangyari yun. Kaya sabi, na, sabi ni Judas, ni Judas who was betraying him, answered and said, Rabbi, is it I? And he said to him, you have said it. Amen? So, we all know that Jesus, on the Last Supper, they all have this. It's not only bread and wine. He only took the bread and the wine just to emphasize okay, the new covenant that we have with Him. So, when we say that, you guys have been the Lord who's up, so, sinasabi natin lagi sa 1 Corinthians chapter 11 that uh, the, uh, the blood uh, is the new covenant. So, when we drink uh, in Israel, ang marriage is always, there is always a cup shared by the wife and the by the wife or the bride and the groom during marriage. Anong symbol noon? that they share in everything, they become one with everything. It means that they tinagda na nila lahat yung ano, lumang buhay nila at panibago ng buhay nila bilang magkasawa at they are committed to Him or to one another. Amen? Being faithful to one another. So in the same manner, ganun din po tayo kay Lord Jesus Christ. That's why this is a new covenant. A covenant means you are one with Jesus. You are one with the body. So it is a being, you are proclaiming right now. We are proclaiming, pinoproclaim natin ngayon, na nakikiisa tayo sa layunin ni Lord. Nakikiisa tayo sa purpose ni Lord. Nakikiisa tayo sa gawain ni Lord. Amen? At ito'y pagpapakita na maging faithful tayo. Pag tayong uh, mag, uh, ano tayo doon? Huwag tayong mag uh, alilangan. Let, let us not waver in our faith. Let us continue to be faithful to Him Amen. until the end. Amen. Because it's a covenant. Alam niyo yung covenant? You must do it. That's why when we drink the cup and eat the bread, we are actually proclaiming our faithfulness to Him. Amen. So, mga kapatid, uh, this is a reminder for us. We're not doing this as just a ritual, but we are always reminded of the reality of our relationship with Jesus. That as we partake the communion every, every Sunday, we are actually reminded of this covenant we have with Him. That's why throughout the week, it will always be refreshed in your memory that you have this relationship with Him which is intimate. That you will not break it. As Jesus is married to us. Amen. And we are married to Him. Amen. That's why we become the bride. Amen. The church is the bride of Christ. Amen. Amen. So, puri na Panginoon. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, uh, we come to the third cup. Ito na yung communion. Ito na yung communion. Hallelujah. Uh, it is the cup of redemption. Redemption. The cup of the covenant. Okay. So, uh, it's, uh, sabi sa Matthew, let's raise up red. Sabi sa Matthew, 
26 verse 27. Then he took, sorry, then the cup is the cup. Then he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. Amen. So let us reconsecrate ourselves as we partake. This is now the present communion that we do. Amen. Amen. And let us partake. This is a blessing for us. This is a blessing for the church. This is a blessing for our relationship to one another. Amen. Amen. So, as uh, as uh, sabi ni Lord, for the remission of sins. Amen. We all know that even Christians will still have uh, uh, committed some things that are not please, uh, pleasing to God. And so, as we always partake, we are being cleansed always. Amen. Because we are, remem we are remembering uh, that we should be worthy before Him. Amen. Amen. So, before we partake, baka kanila sinabi na sa opening prayer, baka ngayon ay mayroon pa kayo tinatakong alas na kailangan ilabas. Amen. Na nakakaha, nakakahadla sa ating relationship. Sa church at saka sa coin on. So, let's take for 10 seconds and lift it to the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, sabi nga, uh, so, yung, yung port cup, okay, which is the last cup, sabi ni Lord, but I say to you, I will not drink of this cup of the wine, or fruit of the wine, from now on until the day, until the day, or that day, when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. So, ano yung sabi nun? Ito yung second coming. That will be the uh, uh, communion for every saint. Amen. So, uh, ang gagawin po natin ito, is, this is the cup of praise. Amen. This is the cup of hope. Amen. Amen. And we all know also, na sa, uh, sa sustombre ng Israelite, uh, ang ginagawa nila, binukusan nila yung pintuan, ang pangabahin nila, because they will never know when the Messiah comes again. But it's a celebration, right? Celebration na we look forward to celebrate this with Jesus. Amen. Uh, with Jesus. So yun ang gagawin natin ngayon. Amen. As we... <laughs> yeah, open the door. Simple. Amen. <laughs> Therefore, we are bound to thank to thank Him, to praise Him for uh, the promised land, to glorify Him, extol Him, honor Him, and uh, to give Him reverence, to perform all these things for every one of us. So it is always centered on the Lamb. We all know that in Revelation it says that before everything else, before the foundation of the world, the Lamb was already slain. It's about the Lamb. Yes. And so, the symbol of the shank, the bone, is a symbol of Jesus. Always, yes, a celebration, hindi nila maiwan, hindi nila makalimutan, na there's such a Lamb that was shed. And you know what? Uh, yung promise po uh, ni, ni Lord kay Abraham, 
Sabi nga, di ba, we all know that Isaac was, uh, no, Abraham was asked by God to sacrifice his son. That he was instructed to bring his son to this mount. And the mount is called Moriah. Amen. Actually, it is renamed. Uh, it is named uh, uh, now God who provides. Amen. And you know that sabi ni Isa, where is the lamb? And, the, and, the, and Abraham said, the Lord will provide. Amen. Amen. This is actually is a prof prophecy. And you know where Jesus was birth, was crucified? In Mount Moriah. Yeah. The same place where Isaac was brought to be uh, purposely to be offered. But then God provided the lamb there. Right? And then Jesus, the final lamb, the last lamb, yes, yes. amen, to, to be offered once and for all amen. in that mountain was fulfilled. Amen. Hallelujah. So th these are things that hindi coincidences, but that when God speaks, He will see to it that it will happen. Amen. See, when that was spoken, uh, remember Abraham, that was 3,500 more years ago. Amen? And it happened. See, it happened on the day of after around almost 2,000. Nangyari yung sinabi ni Lord to Abraham. Prophetic. Kaya, tumagal naman ito. Huwag tayong uh, mawalan ng pag-asa. Kasi ang lahat ng pangako ng Diyos ay nagkakaroon ng kapatid. Kailangan lang talaga faithful tayo. Amen. We will never know when. Amen. Because this celebration is about having hope. Sabi nga eh, we have a blessed hope. Amen. A blessed hope in Jesus. And as we celebrate Passover, it's also a living hope for us. Amen. But someday, He will come again. And we will celebrate with him. Amen. This is it. Now is a for uh, is, is a for, uh, foretelling. Your antipo celebration is a foretelling that he is coming again. Amen. We believe that. Amen. And we believe that. Hallelujah. So let's raise, raise the cup. Hallelujah. So ang gagawin po natin, let us uh, pray. As we, before we partake, pray and give praise to Him. Father, we are so thankful for everything that you have done. Amen. This moment that we celebrate, may it be clear Amen. to us, in our minds, in our spirit, Amen. the reality of who you are. Yes. Truly, Lord, it began in the Lamb yes. and it will finish in the Lamb. Yes. You are the Lamb of God. Amen. You are the Lamb of God that we are still waiting for to come again. Amen. For the, for the last time, Lord. Not, but not as a lamb, but as a lion of Judah. Amen. Hallelujah. The King of kings and the Lord of lords. Amen. And we celebrate that, Lord. Amen. Looking forward, hallelujah. Looking forward to your coming in Jesus' name. Let's partake. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So, praise the Lord. Ang gagawin po natin. And celebration, let's sing. Sit with me, sing
Passover ngayon. Kaya uh, ang isyong ko po, hindi po bago. Sa John 3.16 For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son whosoever believe in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. Amen. Kasi ito pong, ito pong verse na ito is talagang uh, ito po yung uh, good example sa pagbibigay. Kasi Kasi po, ang, uh, the God, ang si Abba Father, eh, talagang eh, binigay niya, yung, ang pagbibigay niya is about love. Amen. Yung pagmamahal niya sa atin. Kaya, kaya niya pinagkaloob ang buktong niyang anak talaga. Para sa ganoon, magkaroon tayo ng buhay na walang hanggang. Amen. Kaya... Talagang best yung ipinagkalob ng pinagkalob ni Abba Father talaga sa talagang yung best hindi yung tira-tira. Kaya ang tanong po, bibigay po ba natin ang best natin sa Panginoon? Yes! Para sa pagbabalik ng ika po at hando. Yes! Sa Panginoon po kayo na nag-amen po. Yes! Kaya tayo po ay magbalik ng ika po at hando. Do I got 
Lord, pagpanahin niyo po ang bawat uh, nagbigay po ng mga kapatid at Panginoon. Lord God, pagpanahin niyo po ang mga employer namin, Panginoon, na siyang daluyan mo ng iyong pagpapala para sa ganun makapagbalik po kami ng ikapot hanggang sa iyo. Lord, pagpalain niyo rin po ang mga kapatiran na hindi pa nakapagbigay. Lord God, ipunin niyo po ang mga puso nila para sa ganon uh, makapagbalik po sila ng ika po at hagdog sa iyo. Lord, pagpalain niyo rin po ang tagaingat. Yaman, Panginoon. Lord God, we ask, Lord, na palakisin po siya spiritually, physically, Lord God. Lord, marami pong salamat. Ito po ang samot na langin namin. Pinabalik namin ang kataas-taas ang papuri at magsamba sa iyo. Amen. Amen. Pwede na po tayo maupo. Bago po tayo dumakas sa mga announcements, gusto lang po natin i-welcome ang ating uh, bagong dating po. First time ngayon dito sa katawan ng Panginoon dito sa punto. Uh, tawagin po natin si Rofilin B. Mapat. Papa. Ma Papa, sorry. Asan si Rodel Rodelin, Papa? Hi. Ay, siya po ay inimbita ni Nani Tere. Ay, may nagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpap